हेलो गाइस स्वागत है आपका कंटेंट मॉन्स्टर्स के एक और एपिसोड में और आज के इस एपिसोड में हम रिव्यू कर रहे हैं फोर मोर शॉर्ट सीजन थ्री का जो कि हाल ही में रिलीज हुआ था एमेजॉन प्राइम वीडियो पर शॉर्ट्स के मुख्य कलाकार हैं पानी जे कीर्ति कुलड़ी जॉनी गुप्ता मानवी गुंगरू जिम सर प्रतीक बब्बर सिमोन सिंह राजीव सिद्धार्थ और लीजा रे अब दो सीजन आ चुके इस शो के द फर्स्ट वन सीम फेयरली ब्रीजी समथिंग डिफरेंट सेकंड सीजन टू मी वाज डेफिनेटली अ लेट डाउन बिकॉज यूड एक्सपेक्ट द फ्रेंड्स टू मच योर जो कि होता नहीं है एंड थर्ड सीजन आई वुड से इज इजिली द वर्स्ट ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो लेट्स लुक एट सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एट दिस शो हैज फर्स्ट जीरो रिलेटेबिलिटी आई मीन द kind of first world problems these girls have is something that ordinary women can't even relate to if this is a show about modern independent educated working women is tarah ki problems kis working woman ko hoti hai bilkul samajh ke bahar you just can't relate to some of these problems for instance siddhi jiska role manvi gungru play kar rahi hai uski mom uski 25th birthday celebrate karne ke liye ek surprise celebration lag rahi hai Italy mein for god's sake she goes ahead and invites her friends aur jab use pata chalta hai ki uski mom ne surprise birthday rakhi hai aur uski friends ko bhi invite kar diya aur uski friends ne accept kar diya hai she just loses her cool on her mom on her friends now isn't that something she should be happy about ab is tarah ki problems kisko hoti hai these problems are just not relatable is saal na meri life bilkul sahi hogi chahe wo career ho ya sex कीर्ति कुलड़ी जो एक काफी सक्सेसफुल लॉयर है एक बड़े लॉ फर्म में शी एंड्स अप डेटिंग हर कॉलिग इन द लास्ट सीजन और जब उनका ब्रेकअप हो जाता है अब वो लोग साथ में मिलकर काम नहीं कर पा रहे हैं बिकॉज दे वर डेटिंग एट वन पॉइंट इन टाइम अब इधर शी शुड जस्ट क्विट दैट जॉब और जॉइन सम अदर कंपनी और लाइक मच्योर प्रोफेशनल दे शुड जस्ट गेट अलॉन्ग विद इच अदर वाइल दे एट वर्क एंड देन इग्नोर इच अदर आफ्टर वर्क अब इसमें क्या इतना बड़ा रॉकेट साइंस है एंड दीज आर दिंग्स दैट आर डिपेक्टेड इन दिस शो लाइक आई सेट If your show is about modern, feisty, independent working woman, these women are anything but that. इस तरह की problems किसे होती है? Also that high couture fashion that they are roaming around in all the time. They go to the most exotic places. They click the best pictures. अच्छी से अच्छी गाड़ियों में घूम रहे हैं, अच्छे से अच्छे pubs और bars में जा रहे हैं. How does all this make any sense? Because Bani Jee का जो character है, is not so well off. Kirti Kulledi is striving. टू वर्क हार्ड सक्सीड और उसे अपने डॉटर को भी मेंटेन रखना है शॉइनी गुप्ता का जो कैरेक्टर है उसके पास कोई जॉब नहीं है अब इस सीजन में वो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के हेयर को असिस्ट कर रही है ये लोग इस तरह की लाइफ स्टाइल्स मेंटेन कैसे कर पाते हैं दैट अगेन इज समथिंग दैट यू जस्ट कॉन्ट रिलेट टू सो लाइक आई सेट दिस शो हैज जीरो रिलेटेबिलिटी द सेकेंड थिंग दैट स्ट्राइक्स वेरी ऑड इज दैट चीटिंग इज जस्टिफाइड फॉर वुमेन सो शॉइनी गुप्ता कैरेक्टर दामिनी रिजवी रॉय चीट्स ऑन अर बॉयफ्रेंड प्रतीक बब्बर एंड वेनी क्वेश्चन आर अबाउट दैट शी कॉल्स इम जजमेंटल एंड सिक नाउ हाउ स्ट्रेंज इज दैट यूव चीटेड ऑन हिम यू नेवर गिव हिम टाइम वेन ही वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ हार्ट टू हार्ट कॉन्वर्जेशन यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू लिसन टू हिम then you go ahead and cheat on him and then he asks you why you did that you say he's judging him so this is also strange i mean how can cheating be justified whether it is for men or whether it's for women again that seems so 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 odd even kurti kulari's character anj when her ex husband has a problem with his current wife and he comes back to stay with her they have a thing going with each other and she's just not bothered at all that this might even further strain the relationship between her ex husband and his current wife so all of this seems so so strange because even what kurti kulari's character is doing is in a way cheating so cheating is absolutely fine for women is what the show is highlighting and you can cheat as a character in the show that's absolutely fine but then you go ahead and justify the same in the same show seems very odd the third one is that the women in the show who supposed to be so strong so independent they just refuse to take any responsibility whatsoever for their actions so for instance umang played by bani jay when she dumps samara while she's still in love with her in the ending of the last season she goes ahead and has a fling with meher on the rebound without bothering at all as to what meher will feel like when she realizes that this relationship is only on the rebound and umang has no feelings for her similarly jim sarb who plays a yoga instructor in umang's gym she goes up and has a fling with him also despite being a lesbian and she goes and have of has a fling with him which is fine because it's her choice but still she goes and has a fling with him and then she dumps him also without caring as to what he would feel now and both these flings she has had are on the rebound because she's dumped samara and she still misses her and just because she misses her she is using these two people to fill her void in her life so where is the responsibility that she's taking as a mature adult not to be seen at all what i'm trying to say is ki ab mujhe sirf barabari ke relationship chahiye मैं बस वंग सिंह बनना चाहती हूँ
if the show was intended to be about four friends who've made mistakes, learned from it and moved on with life, what they're showing in the show is certainly not that because that's not how adult women are. Also, we keep saying to each other or keep hearing that adulting is hard, but definitely adulting can't be so stupid, so irresponsible, so downright ridiculous as these four girls make it out to be or make it seem to be in the show. And lastly, I think the depiction of men in the show, all of them are whims, either they are too nice uh, as people or they are too submissive. I mean, if it's a show about showing these modern women, men should be equally strong in the show, isn't it? But you take any of the men, whether it's Jim Sarv, I'm so sad that a talented actor like him has been wasted in such a poor role. Or it's Neil Bopalam, or it's Pratik Babbar, they are all just pushed around by these ladies. There's absolutely no strong male role in this series. Our Indian men, Pachman se Raja Beta syndrome ke saath bade hote hain, and humare romantic future ki baat laga hai. Which again is surprising that just because the four protagonists are females, all the males in this show have either a very poor role or they are shown to be whims. It just doesn't add up. The women in the show are strong, but then even the men should be. How can all of them have such lack of personality, lack of character? Uh, it's almost as if those men just can't make mistakes. Only this woman will make mistakes. And that, again, seems very, very odd for a modern uh, show like this. So these four things to me ensure that this show just doesn't work for me. In fact, I was expecting this season to be much better than the uh, first two, that these girls have matured, that they have a different set of problems, not created by their own doing, but created by quirk of fate. But that's not the issue. All the problems that are shown in this series are all created by themselves only because they act immaturely and they don't act their age. And lastly, I'd like to add, just by using cuss words, just by changing boyfriends, just by appearing to be puzzled and uh, confused all the time, it uh, doesn't make you a strong independent woman. A strong independent woman is one who knows how to deal with difficult situations. A strong independent woman is one who knows how to carry herself. A strong independent woman is one who knows that she makes mistakes, accepts those mistakes and moves on and ensures that she doesn't repeat those mistakes. None of these women have any of these characteristics or attributes. Now the makers of the show might argue that our intention was never to show strong independent women. Because honestly you don't understand what is the message they're trying to convey. For instance in the case of all these girls, they break up with someone today, they meet someone else the next day, they fall in love, they start making out with him and in a few days they break up with him and they go back to the same person they broke up with and then they have a fling with that person and so easily they come out of that and they get into another relationship. There is absolutely no sense of depth no sense of gravitas, no sense of seriousness. This show is so shallow in terms of depicting relationships. Is physical attraction the only thing between a man and a woman? At least for most of the time in this show, that's what it's come to. Now in terms of the performances, I think Kirti Kulodi has done a good job with whatever role she has been handed. I don't think her character is that well crafted this time, but she manages to hold her own in this mess. I think Manvi Gunguru has done a good job, uh, despite the fact that, like I said, because most of the problems are of her own creation, but I still believe believe Manvi Gunguru has managed to hold her own. Shaini Gupta is a bit of a letdown. I think she was much better in season 1 and 2, but here she is a complete letdown according to me. Again, you can't make out in this show whether she's a strong independent woman, she's vulnerable, confused. What is it about Damini? You just can't make out. Her character is not that well etched this time. And Bani Ji, I think, continues uh, from what she was in season 2, continues to be confused, continues to move from one relationship to the other with no clarity of thought, with no clarity in her mind. But I think it's just a repetition of what she did uh, in season 2. Pratik Babbar also doesn't have a very strong role. I think he's done whatever best he could with it, but I don't think he has a great role. Simone Singh has a better role and I think she's played a part to perfection here. Jim Sarp, like I said, whatever time he's on screen, he's tried to do his best, but his role is very, very poorly written. And Rajiv Siddharth also in the limited time that he has on screen, he's done a good job, but I wish we'd seen more of him because he seems to be the only sane voice, the only sensible person in this entire series. So I wish we'd seen more of Rajiv Siddharth. So this is what it is performances wise, but like I said, you would expect far more mature far more depth uh, at least in season 3 uh, of this show but uh, alas that isn't to be seen and more importantly I think it's something for the makers and the writers to decide it almost feels that they're shooting this because they've pre-decided they want to do a season 3 they will bungle up even in the next season if they decide to go ahead with season 
just because they have to the starting point of the next season should be a good story there should be a logical carrying forward of the characters of the story that has built up in the first 3 seasons if that's not happening and the next season is a repetition in a different way of what season 3 entailed like season 3 is of season 2 then what's the point of making another season because you don't need it this show doesn't need another season unless there is an effective and an important point the next season is making if not for anything else at least there is a growth in the character graphs of these four protagonists even that is not there then what is season 4 supposed to do i think that's something that definitely the makers and the writers should keep in mind and ensure that the next season is definitely not a fashion parade like this season was this season started well i thought the first episode where they go to umang's village in punjab i thought i could expect some sense here but clearly it was downhill after that i'd give the show a rating of 4 on 10 and that too primarily because of a few actors who've done very well on screen but otherwise i clearly feel this is an opportunity lost and uh, they should have done much much better if you've seen the show do let us know what you think about the show whether you agree with our review or don't uh, if you like our review please do subscribe to our channel and for many many more such reviews please do keep coming back we'll see you soon thank you